Yeah. 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 Unbelievable. Howard, how on earth did you get to hear about what we were talking about in our interview? Well, do you know what? It's really strange, actually, because I actually saw the little clip that Eddie did, right? And I thought, hang on. And then I got a call from my agent a couple of days later, and she goes, there's some tickets here. And I thought, right, are those tickets available, Eddie? I'm coming. So here I am. Here it's I am. a mad world, isn't it? A mad mad world. world, isn't it? Do you know what? I've met some, I've met some, some big stars, right? I've met Muhammad Ali, Mike Tyson, LA. But I like the sound in all honesty, Howard was the first person I went over to for a picture. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, um, it's, do you know what? This is the first time I've actually been to a live boxing event. And it's fantastic. So hopefully, it'll give oh, us mate, a ticket. season ticket now. <laughs> um, but uh, no, so yeah, it was just by off chance. I was watching um, the YouTube, I saw the clip, and I thought, oh, that sounds good. What are you going to do? So there we are. Stab you in the back, but you won't even see it coming because they're so friendly and nice to you. And that's not really for me. I'd rather you just didn't talk to me and I just knew we don't do business. Like, don't get me wrong, if there's a deal to be done, but we don't like each other, let's just be honest about that. But in America, it's, it's really like, hey, Chris, you look amazing. Where really you think, fucking you've put on some weight. Do you know what I mean? I'd rather that. I'd rather someone comes up to me and goes, Eddie, Jesus Christ, Porky, you've put on some timber, rather than, hey, Eddie, you look amazing. Have you been working out? You know? That is what it's like, isn't it? Oh, Eddie, you look right. Like when I've been on the road for like I don't know six weeks. Fucking hell, Ed, you look terrible, mate. You look absolutely. Fucked. Oh my God, Eddie, you look amazing. Really fresh. You've been to the spa. You had a facial, man. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> you know, for a world title fight after four fights. Who wants it? What do you want as a fan? Do you want fighters to be in real fights? I keep seeing like lemons who post things like. Oh, Cheeseman got beat and Fowler got beat and Richardson got beat. Yeah, because they're in proper fights. What do you want? Do you want them in proper fights or do you want them in easy fights? Or Eddie Earn gets another fighter beat. Make your fucking mind up. What do you want? You silly toss pot. Do you want our fighters in real fights or do you want them in gimme fights? If they're in real fights, they're going to lose every now and again. So don't celebrate it when they lose because you're sitting at home in your Transformers pyjamas knocking one out with your KY or whatever you use. I mean, you know, other substances are available. Um, but... <laughs> <laughs> oh, but God. Do you understand what I mean? Cassius, MTK, uh, IFL. I mean, um, <coughs> right, I'm joined here today by Eddie Erm, uh, head of what Fight Week for White Revas. Eddie, how you doing? Hey, motherfuckers, I'm back! Obviously, I uh, bet you missed me, haven't you, motherfuckers? <laughs> yeah, all you promoters out there, I'm back. It's pay per view fight week in England. Obviously, uh, Eddie, do you think you're giving value for the fans this week for pay per view? A lot of people moaning. A lot of people think you're a prick. Um, a lot of people think you're arrogant. Um, big mouth. Um, you know, you expected to get booed out of the O2 on Saturday. Let me tell you something. If you don't want to watch it, don't pay for it. Twenty pound. What more do you want? White Rebus, Alan Price. Spilka Chisora, Bill and Smith versus Rappor, Duffield versus Aziz, 20 quid, what more do you fucking want, mate? <laughs> On in uh, Chicago, Spong, Spong Chicago. Uh, we went through the undercards as well. You got October the 19th, which you've done. Yeah, bad blood. Uh, and then you got October the 26th. Oh, let's just hold on. No, I'm not having this. I'm what, not mate? having what? this. What? No, 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 no. Can we stop filming? No, 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 listen. Stop filming. Are you even... What, what are you even doing standing up? Why are you standing up? What, mate? I don't get it. Why are aren't we you the... on your knees paying homage to the schedule? <laughs> You're a dick. I swear to God. No. Why right. aren't you going to me? Huh? you may be a little bit chubby. You may be a little bit of a tosspot. But, my God, do you put on a show? <laughs> Let's just run it back. October 4th, MTK Golden Tournament. October 5th, 
Golovkin against Derevinchenko from the garden. October the 12th, Usyk against Spong. Actually, you know what? We'll spin it back again. October the 11th from Trento, right? Little Italian show. Reese Bellotti on the card there, challenging for a title. Tommy McCarthy against Fabio Turchi. Another Italian job, is it? Is it? We don't know. October the 12th, Usyk against Spong. Say it right, did I? Yeah. Bivol. All the other boys on the card as well. McCaskill, women's world title. October the 19th, Robbie Davis Jr. against Lewis Ritson. Bad blood. Little bit of bad blood in the northeast, Liverpool v Newcastle. What? With a big cheese against Fitz on the undercard? You ain't putting that on, are you, Hearn? Oh, I am. October the 26th. October the 26th. Progress against Taylor. Unification for the Ali Trophy in the Ring Magazine belt. With the big heavyweight clash, Chisora against Parker. Well, you might as well sling in an old British classic, Burns against Selby. Oh, why not? I will if you want. Oh, and what about a Cody against Hart and Garby for the European title? Oh, go on then. That's October. Why the fuck are you still standing? I was there as yeah. well, mate. Yeah, yeah, you're there in Watford. I and he didn't that. even know who you was. So what's mad, right? Uh, do you know what interview I watched the other day? Oh, oh my days. <laughs> it was one at, at the Matram gym, when I used to train at his gym. I was in my Red Stay Hungry hat. Yes. And I was dancing, do you know what I mean? Yes. Mate, we used to give you that good access. <laughs> I was yeah, thinking that and I was like, he, he, he never had it. <laughs> 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 he said a key word there, didn't he? Man was dancing, bro, I was giving him that exclusive. At the time, bro. it was a big thing getting Coog into the gym. <laughs> I'd like, Josh, big news, mate. <laughs> Coog and Cassius is coming down. I'll be like, no way. Yeah. Oh, from yeah. Yeah. London. It's like, let me get my snap back on. Now let me do a dance. I said, like, you've got to, you've got to really make sure you give a good interview. Now it's like, Josh, Coogan's here. I thought you were talking about loyalty. I'm loyal. That's why we're here. That's why we're here. All right, good point. Gang, gang. Good point. We had a 12 or 13 man interview. But, you know. All right, I appreciate your time anyway. Go back to Ruiz thing. So you don't think, I was just talking to Coppins today, he thinks he has been down. You think he's heavier. He looks heavier. I, I thought, with that one clip that I saw, which was in San Diego, I thought he looked, yeah, I thought he looked heavy. I thought he looked a bit slower, actually. Maybe I'm just used to his speed now. But... Tubby, you use the word tubby. He's a bit tubby, isn't he? I'm a bit tubby. I'm not tubby. It's not. People pick up words that you use, like next week, Hearn says Ruiz is tubby. Well, obviously, he's fucking tubby, isn't he? Yeah. I mean, when you have to put your shorts on, people see the truth. He's a little bit tubby. Yeah. Listen, when I go on the, on the beach and put the old swim shorts on, I'm a bit fucking tubby. Let's be honest. I mean, there aren't people looking at me going up and down the beach going, oh, look at Hearn. He's a machine. He's absolutely cut to shreds. They're going, that's that Eddie Earn. He's a bit tubby, isn't he? So I'm just being honest. Working out. You, you working? I'm working. I'm a boxer. I'm a warrior. I'm a fighter. Oh! Oh! What the fuck? Oh! Hey! God damn! Oh. So, please, 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 fuck right off and apologise to the men, right? Don't worry about apologising for me. I've given months and months of every single, every single tweet I put out, you've got the Transformer Pyjama Brigade, just like, I said, so just wait, wait, wait your fucking turn and listen and watch. So now you've done it, and I'll tell you something now, else now. Right? And it doesn't matter about me because Dillian Wyatt is a brute, right? For the people that tried to fuck his career, to the people that have affected his career, that have taken his mandatory position away, I'm not even talking about the WBC in this statement, I'm talking about the people that caused this whole problem. You are fucked, right? And now the fun begins.